Hey friends, Alan here, and today I wanted to talk to you about how stop button works in Studio One. On the surface, it seems like there is nothing special about the stop button behavior. You just press stop, the music stops, you press play, and it starts again. This is how it works in the analog world on a tape or something like that. And it seems very natural. And it works quite well if you are, say, mixing a song, listening to the whole mix, and then you notice that something is wrong, you stop, you adjust what was wrong, you fix the problem, and you continue. And this is probably the default setting in Studio One. I am actually not sure if this is a default, but if you know what's the default, please let me know in the comments below. But when you are writing a melody or trying to come up with a bass line or maybe polishing the drum fill, it's not very practical to stop and continue at the same point. What you want to do is come back to the beginning of your phrase and play it again and play it again and play it again. Luckily, you can change the behavior of the stop button in Studio One. And let's hop into the DAW and see how it works. So we have a very basic track here. And we're trying to come up with a simple melody on top of it, so I have a, a few notes here. And I'm trying to develop the melody further, so if I say add another note and then I have to go back to the beginning of the track and then I'm thinking about another note and then I have to come back again and start again so let's say I add it here now I'm starting somewhere in the middle I have to go back and play again so you can work around this by going to the beginning of the loop or clicking in the timeline or something like that, but it's obviously not an optimal beha behavior. So what we can do is go into the transport menu of Studio One, and then we go to options, and then there is this option, uh, return to start and stop. So when we press this, and now when we play, and press stop, and it goes back, so we can add Notes and then listen. Change it and listen again. So you get the idea. With those two modes, you cover pretty much most of the scenarios that you may want. So, this was my quick tip for today. If you liked it and you want to get more tips uh, for Studio One, please subscribe to my channel, like it share this video with your friends. Thank you for watching and see you next time.